welcome to our Touch Base Thursday, a little bit earlier tonight on this March 18th version of our Facebook Live. I'm just going to give it a minute for all of you to join me. I'm a little late and I apologize. Um, so again, just going to give it a minute for those of you that are able to join me live to find me before we get started. Um, hi, Sonia. I'm a little late tonight, so... I ended up having to go pick up my daughter from dance at six when I thought I had other arrangements made. So I'm about 10 minutes late. I apologize, but I'm here. Hi to Sonia, Philomena, Patty, um, Susie. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for making the switch um, with me to the six o'clock time frame. <coughs> I am uh, going to be so tonight. My daughter Natalie dances at her last um, basketball game. It's the boys' basketball game. And it starts at 7, so I figure if I get there by 7.30 or 7.15, she dances at the halftime of the game. So I'll be able to at least still um, get there in plenty of time to um, watch her dance. So anyway, uh, hi to a few more of you, um, Vicki and Kay and Courtney, uh, Nancy, Pat. Hi, everyone. So again, my apologies for being about 10 minutes late. Um, I had to pick up um, my daughter from dance. My husband was running late from his job, so... You do what you got to do, right? So anyway, just going to give it a couple of minutes for those of you um, to be able to find me. I know I'm an hour earlier today, um, and I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to join me an hour earlier. Um, so uh, good news for me today. Um, today I received my first COVID vaccine. Um, I know that there might be some of you out there that have mixed feelings about it, and I want to say I respect where everybody is with it, but it's something that I've been waiting for. Um, I do have a few underlying health conditions, so I was very excited to be able to finally get that today. Um, where I work, they were holding a, a vaccine clinic, and we were able to get in there, so I was pretty excited. So, so far, I'm doing just fine. Um, I received the um, Pfizer version of the, um, of the vaccine, and so I go back in three weeks for my second one. So I'm kind of excited. Um, it's been, I've been waiting patiently for that to become available for us. So um, I need to also plug in my video, my camera. I just realized I might be kind of fading in and out. So uh, bear with me here, guys, while I do that because I'm by myself. I excused Claire already. So there. That might be better. I just realized that I hadn't plugged that in. I will definitely take a video of it, um, Philomena. Uh, I've been doing that, all of her performances, and you guys can probably hear me better now. Um, and then I've been posting them, and I'll make sure I post it on this on my page here too for you guys to see. Um, but yeah, it's the last one, and so um, got to go see that, you know. They're only little ones is the way I look at it. Okay, so I only have a few things in the way of announcements, and then I'm going to show you guys some really cool projects I made with the Snailed It bundle. My hope was to get to Easter. Um, my mom came to visit last week, and so I didn't make it in the basement. I don't think at all. I chose to just sit and visit with her, and I hadn't seen her since Christmas, but she finally was vaccinated and felt comfortable coming. And so um, I... I ended up pivoting from my Easter. I only had a couple Easter projects done and I had more of my snail dip presentation done. So I flip flop the two. So you'll get Easter next week and then tonight you're going to be getting um, the snail dip bundle. So I hope you guys enjoy what I've got created for you all. Um, a couple other announcements that I have is I had to give you guys an update on my son, Matt. So tomorrow's my son, Matt's 32nd birthday. So, um, yes, I get that question a lot. You have a son that old? I do. He's 32. Um, I was very young when I had him. So I can probably say that I look like a very young th mom of a 32-year-old. And then I had my girls um, later. So my girls are 16 and 13. But my son, Matt, started his own business Um uh, about, oh gosh, the beginning of the year, I think it was February, and it is taking off like crazy um, to where he's almost, almost ready, I think, to quit his, his full-time job and do his business um, full-time. We're going to be talking about a few things um, over the weekend, I told him, but his birthday's tomorrow, and so I just think it'd be a neat little thing for him to be able to do. It's been his dream to start his own detailing business, and he does an amazing job at it. So I just had to give a shout out to him to say happy early birthday to him. I always talk about the girls because they're home and I don't talk about my son, Matt, very often. So um, anyway, my husband's name is Matt. My son's name is Matt. So it gets kind of confusing in our house. And my sister, her husband is named Matt. So um, at Christmas time, it gets to be really quite 
really quite uh, interesting to say the least. Um, hi to Lisa and Shireen and Luann, um, Paula, a few more new names that just popped in. Okay, so you guys know kind of how it works. If you share my video um, on your, if you share my video, and all you got to do is click the share at the bottom, and at the very top, I know some of you had questions on how to share, it'll let you pick your, your personal page to share it to. Um, you get entered into the drawing for freebies, and I have up for grabs from last week. I had the bolt of the Rococo Rose um, linen ribbon, and then I had a bolt of the gray granite um, uh, ribbon. Now, I have some really sad news about Rococo Rose. If you really liked Rococo Rose, the cardstock is already sold out. Boo-hoo, I know. Um, the, the company announced a couple days ago that um, Rococo Rose was um, in low inventory and then it ended up um, being sold out. By the time they get more um, in production, get it to the, to the warehouse, it's going to be gone because the color goes away the end of next month when our new catalog goes live in May. So if anybody really, really needs Rococo Rose, um, let me know. I, I, I can't actually sell it as a retired item until it's actually retired. Uh, but I do a, um, a BOGO sale. I do it both in, in um, a live one here in Mount Pleasant, like a local event. And then I do an online version of a BOGO sale as well. Um, but let me know if any of you, um, are really in dire need of, of needing that. Cause I, I'm sure I'll have a little bit left over that will be going into that sale that I'd be happy to hold for any of you that might, um, might want that. Okay. So the winners of the ribbon are, um, the winner of the pink, um, ribbon, the Rococo Rose, is Nancy Snowblin. So congratulations to Nancy. And Nancy, I know I owe you some paper or um, some celebration things, so I'll be getting that out with um, with that. And then the winner of the Gray Granite is Carol Koroleski. So congratulations to Nancy and Carol. I'm writing names on these so I don't forget. Um, oh, Karen, you're, that good good idea that you got yours in your last order because, yeah, that went fast. Once they made the announcement, I tried to get out there and get a couple packs, and it was gone. Okay, and then up for grabs this week are the Metallic Pearls and then the Opal Rounds. So I will draw a winner to receive those two embellishments next week. A um, couple other things I have in the way of announcements. So... Um, <laughs> classes. So my current classes that are available for purchase, I'll be putting the links in the description um, of my video. Um, but I have my um, my sympathy card class. I'm doing a 16 card sympathy card class. And um, I've already had some great response on that. I think I've already got like seven or eight of you interested in that. Um, it's a to-go class. So I call it an online class, but it's actually you get a kit in the mail. Um, so you'll be able to make the cards on your own um, later. Uh, and I'm using the fine art gallery stuff for that. Um, and then I also have the hydrangea class. And then some of the cards that you're going to be seeing tonight is part of my snail dip class. I'm doing a snail dip bundle class as well. Um, and uh, the retirement list. So the Stampin' Up! retirement list comes out um, next week. So I will be posting that. And then I'll be showcasing over the course of the next couple of weeks some of my favorite products that are going to be leaving um, and retiring. Um, and the, again, your last chance to kind of get your hands on some of those products. Um, the consumables are, are kind of while well supplies last usually and then the stamp sets are usually guaranteed until a certain date um, I don't have all that information yet but the retirement list is coming just put it on your radar and I'll get that um, I'll get that posted as soon as I can okay um, with that that is really all I have in the way of announcements um, I'm kind of keeping my announcements shorter so that I can get to all the good stuff. Um, and so um, I can get leave the house by 7 to get to her game. Um, I only live like 15 minutes from the high school where she goes. So I left the house at 5.30, dropped her off. And then my hope was to come back home to get on my Facebook Live, but that's when my husband's like, I won't be home for a half an hour. So I had to swing through the studio and pick up Claire. So anyway, um, I just want to thank you guys for staying put and waiting for me to be able to get on here with all of you. Um, today has just been one of those crazy days where you just, you know, do what you got to do to make it through kind of thing. So with that, I am going to transition my camera down, and you guys are going to see um, the projects that we're going to be making tonight. I really am excited about this bundle. 
It's a unique bundle. It's something totally different than what Stampin' Up! has done in the past. You know, we've seen things like for, you know, masculine, feminine, um, uh, juvenile. But this, I think, is just fun. It's just a fun bundle. So I'm going to transition my camera down, and we're going to start making some projects together. Okay, so let me transition this down here. And then I'm going to also unplug my little out external speaker that you guys all had to see me plug in because I don't think I need that once I am seated and let me just adjust a little bit so you guys are going to all be seeing sneak peeks right there aren't they just cute okay a little bit of a shake as I unplug okay so here is the sneak peek of some projects now I am going to move them all out of the way so that you can only, you know, see one of them. So the first one I want to share with you is this cute little note, um, pizza box note card that, um, project that I made. So um, those of you that are on my team, I know I've got some of you that watch um, that are part of my team. This is going to be my little team make and take for my team meeting in April. So sneak peek to you guys. Um, but it's so cute. This is, there's absolutely no stamping on this top of this box. This little hello is cut out from the paper, and I'm going to showcase that paper for you in just a couple of minutes. All of this is literally just paper cut out. And then inside we have a few cute little note cards with coordinating little envelopes. Um, this would make a really cute gift to give someone. Um, I always try to find different little make and takes that we can do um, for my when I do my team meetings. And what I like about this is it really showcases the paper. And I was trying to find something that wouldn't that they can still get their hands on, where things aren't on, you know, unavailable things like that. So let me show you first the bundle. Let me grab my catalog because I think I may have accidentally put it away. Okay. I really put my catalog away. I'll be right back, ladies. Okay. So the snail dip bundle, I'm so sorry. I thought I left it on my table, but I didn't. So the snail dip bundle is part of a bundle that's in our occasions catalog. And it comes with a stamp set and coordinating dies. And I got to show you these dies because they're really, really cool. Um, and then you, you can also get these little resin hearts and then the snail mail twine and then this awesome designer series paper. Now the bundle comes together. You can get the whole collection of the sweet collection for $69.50 or you can get... Um, just the, the stamp set separate or the dies separate. So you can really kind of mix and match this up however you kind of wanted to. If you were to get the stamp set and the bundle or the stamp set and the dies together, it is $44, okay? That doesn't include all of the other things. Okay, so here's the neat thing. Let me bring in the stamp set. So you have all these awesome little stamped images and then you have some little dies that go with it. So some of the dies cut out the paper. Some of the dies cut out the stamped images. So let me bring in some of the paper. And I only have little strips here right now because we are busy cutting this already for my team meeting. So you have this little red um, heart on one side, which you can see right here. And on the other side, you have these mushrooms. Now those mushrooms, there are no dies for those mushrooms. You have to fussy cut those mushrooms. But I love that paper. And then you have this one right here. Now there is a die, I believe, to cut out this bigger snail, but not this, this dude right here. So you just gotta kind of look at it and see what there is. There's a neat little scallopy um, um, square in here that I liked. There are a couple of mushrooms that you can just cut out. So this mushroom, whoops, you can see the little the yellow in it. This mushroom is this mushroom right here um, and so on and so forth. So you just got to kind of pair it up and see what you got in here of what cuts out what kind of thing. Um, and then the neat thing is, is let me finish showing you this designer series paper. So you have this one right here with all the little snails on it and then you just have like some lined paper. And then you have this one with lots of little um, like packages and, and um, paper on it or, you know, paper and envelopes. And then that one has like little postage stamps on the back. And then here you have some mushroom paper. 
And this is the one I really like because this hello right here is not stamped, even though it looks like it is because the font is identical. Here is the font um, in the stamp set or on the stamp set. And here it is um, where I just took the paper and cut the hellos out. So you also have the bonjours, but these um, cut out perfectly with this little die. Um, so it's kind of neat that you can just do that and it looks like it's stamped, but it's not. Isn't that awesome? And then you have this one right here. Now this one, um, there's a die to cut out that little snail right there. So that one cuts out this one right here, which is on the top of the box as well. So you can see that this paper is perfect if you're not one to wanna to do a lot of stamping to just be able to have dies that you can use to cut things out. So that is all of the patterns of the paper. And like I said, I used all of them on my little card box. So we're gonna make the card box together. Oh, I also want to show you this die because this die is really cool. This die makes a little envelope and you're gonna see it. I did it on one of the cards in the inside as well. So yeah, I agree, Philomena. This bundle to me is so cute. Um, and just something unique. So I would use this bundle. I had a couple of people say, I like it, but where would I use it? And when would I send cards out with it? So I would, you know, the whole thing is you've got mail, just a hello here. You snailed it, happy mail. So I would use this bundle as just because cards to send out to my family, my friends, uh, just thinking about you or, hey, you've got mail. I was just thinking about you and wanted to send you a card and tell you, tell you hello kind of thing. Um, that's where I would use this bundle, I think, more than anything else. You could also make cute kid cards with it as well. So what I did is I used one of our pizza boxes, and these are in our annual catalog. I think you get eight of them in a package, um, and they fold up really, really quick and easy. I'm not sure if you guys, they're one of my favorite items. If they retire these, I'm going to be so sad. So if you guys see these on the retirement list, um, think about me because I'll be sad. I use these all the time, and I really like um, using them to make little note cards. Um, I think I can put these together in my sleep because I've done it so many times. So this um, back end, you put the flaps in and then this just comes up and over and then that snaps in there. And then here you just fold. I mean, it's literally kind of like a little pizza box and it just folds over. And there you have it. Now, if you were gonna be using this for food, you would fold it the other way so that you have your... Um, you would have this shiny on the outside. Oh, no, sorry. Food is this way. So you can put your food in here, and this kind of absorbs the oil and whatever from cookies or whatever. But if you wanted to just put, like, other things in it, you could fold it the opposite way, and then you could have the clear showing on the front. Um, I usually do it this way and have, like, the matte finish to it. Okay, so then for the front of my box, what I did, and I'm going to show you all the note cards in just a couple of minutes. Um, so what I did for the front of the box is I, the colors in this paper are Bermuda Bay. Um, there's Bermuda Bay, there's Real Red, there's Blushing Bride, and then I think the yellow is either Bumblebee or Daffodil Delight. But I really focused in on the Real Red, Blushing Bride, and the Bermuda Bay on my projects for tonight. So this piece right here, I cut three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and then the designer series paper was cut three by three. So again, a three by three um, cut is perfect for this um, 12 by 12 paper because there's no waste when you cut three by three. So, and what I bought, I bought two packs of this paper because we're making, um, hard to believe that my little Chloe girl, my little granddaughter is gonna be one year old already next month. And we are using, um, Nicole is doing, my daughter-in-law is doing a, um, uh, oh, a ladybug theme. And so we're actually using a retired stamp set, a ladybug stamp set from last year during celebration. And I paired it with this paper to make her really cool invitations. So um, I'll have to post a picture of it for you guys to see. The stamp set's no longer available, but um, I got to make her invitations, at least the outside. Nicole did the inside, and they turned out really super duper cute. So I'm really happy about that. And so I have lots of this paper left over, so I thought these boxes were perfect. So there's the little snail, and then I just um, cut out. Now this circle I cut out with the layering circles, um, one of the smallest ones that we have. And I just felt that the... the um, Mushroom just kind of got lost on the box by itself. So I put that on with a dimensional and then I adhered this with um, a couple glue dots in spots where it wouldn't um, really matter. 
So I'm just gonna put a couple glue dots on here. Kind of where it's thicker at so that it will hold. Oh, that one didn't come up with it. There we go. And then the hello, again, is just from that designer series paper. Is that not cool? So um, that also went on with the dimensional and that's the front of that cute little box. So now we are going to look at the note cards. So all of the note cards, um, you know, I, I don't know if you noticed that in, their, in our annual catalog that we actually have the little three by three envelopes that go with this. Now I love our three by three envelopes and so I always give them out with um, the cards. Whenever I do little cards in um, the boxes, I always provide little envelopes because that way you can put it in there. It's, it goes also in a, you you know, put that in a cute little gift bag for birthday or anything like that. It works really, really well. So let me show you these cute little note cards. So, um, oh, and let me show you the gems that we chose to use. So um, the the products that come with these or with the, the Snail Dip Bundle is the resin hearts. Now I use the resin hearts on a few of my projects um, uh, that you're gonna be seeing later um, tonight. But on these note cards, I chose to use the little red rhinestones. So these little red rhinestones, and I'm gonna guess that I may have put them away and I may have to go get them. Um, yeah, I may have to go get them. But these are just the little red rhinestones, again, from the annual catalog. And I thought it just kind of paired nicely with this as well. So this is one of the little note cards, and this is just designer series paper. And so I was very strategic in how I cut it to have the little, the little snail be right in the middle. And then I like this one right here. This is the envelope, okay? So you're gonna see how I put that together here in just a couple minutes. Um, I love this little envelope, and we just put the hello on it. And this one's designer series paper with the you snailed it. And then this one, happy mail enclosed. So, you know, even if you were just sending somebody a little something, you could include these cute little note cards. Um, I love that right there, the happy mail enclosed. So these little note cards um, are literally simple, simple to do. So I chose to use, let me bring in, we're going to make a couple of these together. Um, I chose to use a 12... 12 by 12 Whisper White cardstock. And the reason why is because I was able to get, this is this right here is a three by six and then it scored at three inches. So I was able to then get, um, uh, you know, use my 12 by 12 piece of Whisper White and not have anything left over because three by six is a multiple of the 12 by 12. Um, who knew I'd be using math and stamping up, right? Thanks you guys, I'm glad you like the cute little note cards. I think they're adorable too. Um, so a little trick of the trade is if you if you score your cardstock first and then cut it, um, all of them will already be scored all at once. You don't have to go back in and score all of these individually. So score it um, at six first and then you can go, you know, cut it at six and then score it at the three and then they'll all be cut. I hope that makes sense. But that's what I do a lot because these I like to be able to score. And then since this is three by three, this is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And then this is two and a half by two and a half. And so you can see I really use the designer series paper on these to kind of really showcase them. And again, I used the um, colors that I mentioned, the real red, the um, Bermuda Bay and the Blushing Bride. And so this is just going to get, whoops, adhered onto here. My adhesive is giving me grief. I just replaced the refill last night and this one's not wanting to roll the greatest, but we'll get it there. And then what I did is I just stamped this on a piece of scrap in advance. So it's just the stamped image right here. And then all I'm gonna do is cut around this with my paper snips, so nothing fancy here. So I'm just gonna cut around it, kind of get the same amount of white on all four sides here. There we go. And then this went on with a couple of dimensionals. And I think the second one I'm gonna make, I'm not gonna make all of them because again, it's they're, they're really simple to do. Um, but I put that on there like that, and then I added one of those little red rhinestones to the middle. But I do want you guys to see, so like I said, I really think my team will like these for their make and takes this month. Um, I always, like I said, try to come up with something cute and unique. And when I was designing um, Chloe's invitation, I was like, I know what I'm doing with the rest of this paper. Uh, again, look how cute they are. They're just so cute. Okay, but I do want to share with you this little note card. So we'll make that one yet. 
Um, and then we'll move on to the next project because I want to share with you that awesome little die that does the envelope. We used to have dies that did that a while back. Um, they were part of like, I think it was a, um, a Valentine's Day type thing. Um, and I really liked it. So, okay, I'm going to move these out of the way again. I will be posting pictures of all of these um, afterwards as well. I, usually I don't do it till the morning. And I'll guarantee you that I probably won't get to that until the morning with me being gone to the game tonight. Um, but those are the, th are the other three that you can kind of see there with the cute little box. So this is the little die that you get, um, the one that I showed you that makes the cute little envelope. And so it folds up like this. Now you could also, there's a score line there, so you could also um, fold this one down and make it a complete envelope. You could also leave that up. What I did on my sample is I actually cut this flap off just so that it wasn't quite as big so that you could see more of the designer series paper. So there's lots of options that you could do on that one. So this one again, um, all of my little note cards are three by six and they're scored at the three inch mark and then um, these this layer of cardstock right here is cut two and three fourths by two and three fourths and then the designer series paper is cut um, two and a half by two and a half and then again, this you can kind of do whichever way you want. You, if you want your envelope to fold that way, if you want your envelope to fold this way, it's totally kind of your preference. You can see on this one, I folded it that way and cut that off. But if you wanted it to be the other way, that's kind of the traditional way an envelope is, you could do it that way too. I was just looking for something different. So this one I'll do a different way. I'll do it the opposite way first. So you can kind of see here um, me. Glue that one down, that one down, and then I'll put this one down. So it sticks out pretty good like that. And then if I wanted to put the whole thing down, I could, which this one I will, just to, to make it a little bit different so you guys can see it. And put that at an angle. And then this one, I did stamp the word hello, and I did the stamping in advance to save me a little bit of time this evening. This is, again, stamped from the, um, the stamp set. So you can see how I just use scraps of paper for my, my little sentiments. Um, they don't have to be anything pretty. No one's going to know that. So I'm just going to cut my little V out of it, and I'm just going to cut it off. And then I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of this. And I'm just going to stick it like it's coming out of the envelope. Like, we'll do this one like this. A little bit different. Isn't that cute? So again, it's kind of a personal preference. And then I just topped it off with a couple of those little rhinestones. But isn't that envelope adorable? I love that envelope. So it's like literally Happy Mail. You could also put like a snail coming out of the envelope if you wanted to. Um, so anyway, so that is my first project that I created with this. Again, it's the cute little box. If you're joining me a little bit late, it's the cute little box with these four little note cards. Now, anybody who's interested in putting in a minimum $30 order as part of my Facebook Live promotion through Sunday night, you will receive this already made in the mail. Um, the box will be flat. You'll have to fold it up. But this is my little um, make and take that I'll be giving um, anybody who puts in um, a $30 order with me um, now through Sunday night. Okay, so this is what you, you will get um, as a little promotion for doing that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to share with you is some of the cards that I made. So this next card, again, those of you that are um, a part of my team, this is going to look familiar. So at my team meeting, we do a swap. Every month we do a card swap, and everyone makes cards, and then we, we swap, and we get one of everybody else's cards. And I do a swap every single month. I don't care how busy I am. If I don't have time to do it, one of my helpers will help me with it because I believe in the power of swaps and that it's nice to share ideas. And this is the card that I created. Um, I didn't make them. I created the card. And then um, my helpers let you help me with this one, so I can't take the full credit for it. Now, on this one... Um, I embossed with a couple of embossing folders. I embossed with the tasteful textures on the red. And then this one, I am the white I embossed with the, um, uh, the diamonds one, okay? But for my sample tonight, I changed up a couple of the embossing folders because I like to kind of show you guys a little bit of the versatility of doing that. And so for this one, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I embossed with the Scripty. This is the Scripty embossing folder that has the, the, the um, 
like the words on it. And that I just adhered directly down. So a lot of times when I want a matte embossed, I will do a matte onto a color. I don't usually like to do the um, card front through my um, machine because if I do that through my machine, I just feel like the whole front is just kind of I don't know, the texture gets really ruined by that. Hi, Carol. So I like to kind of just do it, um, if I'm going to do color on color, like the matte with the base, I will, and I want this embossed, I'll do it a layer like I'm doing right here. Um, just again, a little personal preference. So these two I'm going to um, adhere together. And um, this was just, again, um, to kind of fill in some of the space there. And then I cut out a um, circle with the um, designer series paper. So this one, instead of using the snail side, I used the opposite side and I cut out, this is actually a stitched shapes um, circle. So it's got the little, uh, the little stitching on it and that we just adhered onto the card itself. So this card was really quick and simple and easy. I didn't use any ribbon whatsoever on it. And then this will just get adhered down as well. And then I used a couple of those snails, again, from the paper. This is just from the Designer Series paper. So not much stamping involved on this card. The only thing I did do was I stamped with some of the um, the craft white ink. And I don't use the craft white ink too, too often. But um, I really thought it needed it in this case because I just think it kind of needed to have the white. Um, and I didn't want to get my embossing gun out. So I chose to use the um, craft white. Um, now, the only thing with your craft white ink is it dries fast. So a couple little tips and tricks with your white craft ink. Don't... Um, when you when you first get it, mine's an older style one, but when you first get it, don't feel like you have to cover the entire thing with ink. I usually focus on right in the middle or right where my stamped image is going to go. So on this one, I did Sending Love Your Way, but for my sample for tonight, I chose to use a sentiment from the Lots of Heart. So I'm going to be using instead Scent with Lots of Heart, and I'm hoping that this is still kind of wet in the middle from when I did my card before. And if it's not, that is where I'm going to focus in on my ink, okay? And you can see that I'm just ever so lightly tapping because I don't want to get ink on everything. So there's two sides to every piece of cardstock. So I'm going to try to stamp on this. Oh, and it worked out just fine. You can see it. So it's not going to dry right away. It's going to need to dry on its own and take a little bit of time. It's, it's a pigment ink. So, um, but what you do is you set it to the side, let it dry. And then I just adhered this down here in the bottom. And then I added one of those little resin hearts. Now these hearts come where they are already, they have the sticky on the back of them already, kind of like our rhinestones and pearls do. So I just cut the little banner into the sides and added a little heart to that. So, and I'm going to let that dry and do it later because I don't want to smudge my ink. So, um, that's just a little tip with that ink because a little of that goes a long way and you don't want to have to, um, you know, really have, um, it, too much is, makes the stamp really gunky too. Okay, so let me see what I have next to share with you. So, I've already shared with you the cute little box with the four note cards. Um, I shared with you my swap card that I did for my team meeting. Now, these are some of the cards that I created for one of my classes um, that I did. So, I'm going to share this one first. And again, it uses that cute little... Um, the cute little envelope. And I paired this with the... the um, with the... Uh, the back of the this paper so it's kind of like the stampy looking paper and then a snail so again the only thing stamped on this card is the cute little hello right here so i used bermuda bay this is five and a half by eight and a half this was the base of my card and then i used um pool party which is five and a quarter by four for the layer on my card so I'm just going to add some adhesive to that. Um, so again, I didn't use a ton of ribbon on these cards. A couple of them I used the twine combo, which I haven't shown you yet. But the twine combo pack, you get the Blushing Bride and the Whisper White together for $7. So you can see I've used more of the Blushing Bride than I have the white. But that's also part of this product suite. And then this is the die that's part of that one. So yeah, I remember I showed you the cute little die with the 
the um, the edge. I love this. And so I'm going to adhere the designer series paper. And then the designer series paper was just cut um, to fit on here perfectly so that you still have the little border around the edges here. So you can see all that little, um, the little stamp or the little uh, stitched part to it. And then this is going to go on with some dimensionals. And I'm just going to put one in the four corners. Again, can you see how quick and simple this um, these cards can be? I mean, seriously, you don't need um, you know a lot of stamping to do make cute cards with it. You just need to have the paper. The papers, the paper and the dies. Um, I mean, you you do need the stamp set if you want to stamp the hello. But I don't think any of my cards so far that I made, the only stamps that I used are the sentiments and then that happy mail enclosed. So I don't think on any of my cards, let me look at the stamp set again. But I don't think on any of my cards I actually stamped the images. I just stamped this and I stamped the these on it. Because the paper does all the work for you. So I let it kind of do that for me. And then you have this little envelope right here. So again, I'm just gonna fold the envelope up and we're gonna seal it up like that. And I'm just gonna use some glue dots. And this one I am gonna cut off the top. Let me find my little scissors here to cut off the top. It's got a score line so you know where to cut it perfectly if you wanted to have that um, cut. And then we're just going to add some glue dots here. Let me add one more to this Tom top part. Okay, so there's your cute little envelope. And then we're going to put that on with some dimensionals. And if you fold, if you score, like really fold this down really good, it'll lay really flat. You can see my sample here is laying really, really flat. Um, I'm just not taking the time to do that as well as I would um, if I was, you know, but it will. It'll lay nice and flat for you. And then um, you're going to stamp the hello. And so this one I don't have stamped. So I'm going to bring in my Bermuda Bay ink and let me get my hello. Maybe if it's here, my hello might be already out on a block somewhere. So, and it's not handy by me because I have a mess going on. So you guys get the gist of it. We're not going to stamp that. I'm really sorry. I don't know where that is right now. Probably at the table behind me, but you would just stamp the hello and do the exact same thing that I did on the previous card. Now this, I did add some of the little hearts. You can see I added two of the little red hearts here, one of the white ones there, and then one of the little red ones right there for that card. Isn't that cute? Okay. So let me show you, I'm gonna probably have time to do one more card, but I wanna show you all of the projects that I created so that you can kind of see them. Um, these are the other three cards that I've um, created to share with you. So you can kind of get an idea of the cute little um, mushrooms on this one. Now on this one, I stamped the little heart on the little strip behind there. So let me see if I can find that card and maybe we'll whip that one up together. Yeah, I think we will. Um, and then, so we'll do this one. I'm just going to talk to you real quick about these two. So this card right here, I used the painted labels for this um, back part of this little circle. The painted labels um, go with um, the suite of the... Um, the the poppies that came out last year but this is one of the dies in there and that is what i used to just put this on with a circle um and then adhered the little um the little snail stamped my hello this one i did add some of the the twine um around there um and voila you have a really cute card and then this one again it does some, this kind of the similar thing with the little envelope. Um, and this time I used the die to cut that out. And again, all of these, this is from the paper. So I didn't use any of the um, the stamps to, to, and coloring. It's, I, let, I, I love using paper that way. I love to use the paper to do the work for me so I don't have to color it. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make this one so you can see those cute little mushrooms. Um, so this one is, the, the card base is Bermuda Bay. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And then I used um, a layer of the um, Whisper White and I used the, um, the, the wood grain or the wood um, embossing folder on that. And so that we're just gonna add some adhesive to it and adhere that down. 
And then what I did to kind of create my own stamped image on this one, so this is just a piece of the real red cardstock that's cut one and a quarter um, by five and a quarter, I do believe. And I used the real red. Thank you, Sonia and Philomena I'm, and Luann. I'm glad you guys like the cards. I had a lot of fun designing these and uh, thought it was just kind of fun to not have to... Um, and I had two of my ladies that made these in my class on Monday and, uh, they both got done pretty quick because there wasn't a whole lot of stamping that they had to do, but this is the heart stamp that is from this, um, stamp set as well. And all I did is kind of, um, stamped on here to get kind of like the background, um, so that I had some little, you know, hearts every which way. So nothing too fancy on this, just easy stamping. So it's just the color on color. Okay, and you can stamp more if you want. So instead of using ribbon, oh, I just lost my little, there they are. Hope I didn't lose the other ones. There they are too, okay. So instead of using ribbon, I used um, uh, this designer series paper to go across the middle and kind of made it my own designer series paper by using cardstock and then just stamping on it. And then I used the, um, in this case, I used the die for the bigger, you know, the square on the outside and cut a yellow one to go behind it. So again, this die is part of the Snailed It um, dies. Now again, this is a card class that is currently open. So these are four of the cards from it. One of them I didn't showcase because I think it, um, I knew I wouldn't have time. And I really wanted to show you guys my, my card that I did for my, my team for my my card swap and I knew I'd run out of time I always do more than I want and then I have time for so I apologize for that but you know I just get so excited when I'm showing you guys things so that's gonna go on there like that and then again the snail comes from the designer series paper so I'm gonna put a dimensional on that and that kind of went on here like that. And then I cut out two of these small little um, um, mushrooms. Now with these mushrooms, you could use like the liquid um, glue. You could use, um, for purposes of my video, I'm just using glue dots. But you could do um, any kind of glue that you like. Or the, the fine tip glue pen. Um, any of those. Oh, that took part of the... There we go. All right, so there's the two little mushrooms. And then here is one of the hellos. Again, part of the designer series paper um, cut out and using that die from those, the dies, one of the dies for it, whoops. And I kind of have it coming out like the snail is saying hello. How quick and simple was that? And then I added a couple of little hearts to that too. So anyway, I hope that you guys really enjoyed the Snail Dip Bundle. And you think, I mean, like I said, with my customers, either I have some that like it and some that really don't like it, some that are on the fence because they don't know how to use it. But if you think a little bit uniquely with it and have it be cards that you would normally not send for different occasions or things like that, um, I think that you'd have fun with it. I'm going to also bring in, for anyone who joined me a little bit late, the, um, the box that I made first. So this is the little pizza box with note cards. So this is my order promotion anybody who puts in a minimum $30 order from now through Sunday you will get this cute little box with all these little note cards already made for you and it also will include four little envelopes that will be in the box as well the box will be sent to you guys flat so you can put it together uh, but the box will be a finished project where I'll have everything already on it and everything will already be made so this will just appear in your mail um, I'll put the ordering link um, in the description of my video or if you just go to kimsbasementbunch.com or search for me in the demonstrator um, when you go to the online store I show up as Kim Vogel so but this is what I'll be sending everyone who puts in a minimum order um, so it's a nice little gift that you'll be getting and then if you're interested in taking my online class with this again you'll get a kit in the mail to be able to put these together um, if you don't own the stamp set there's minimal stamping because a lot of this is cut from the designer series paper so um, you know you'll have to if you don't have the stamp set you can improvise with whatever else you have um, that you can use on that. Um, not much stamping, which was what makes this class really nice for um, being able to 
do it as a kit, um, a kit to go kind of thing or a kit that you get in the mail. So I thought I had one. Oh, and then this last one is my swap card that I did for my team meeting. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed um, tonight's um, projects with the Snail Dit Bundle. And like I said, I really hope that you consider adding this um, bundle to your collection. It's really cute and something so unique other than florals and butterflies and masculine stuff. And, you know, it's just something very, very unique. And I just thought it was a really cute one. Um, my girls loved it, which is why I purchased it. So anyway, thank you all. And thank you for allowing me to come on an hour early so I could get to my daughter's um last dance performance i will definitely share that video with you guys um and i will be back next week um regular time again uh 7 p.m um eastern daylight time now because we went into daylight time and i'll be showcasing easter for you guys then so thank you all so very much for joining me tonight i hope you've enjoyed it and um i will see you all back next week and have a wonderful weekend bye everyone